Zipper T Bunny. You either love him or hate him, but more than likely you hate him. Up until a few days ago, this jumpity fellow brought a plague upon the land. Whether you tried to fish, cut wood, or just hide in isolation, an egg would find you. You weren't safe anywhere. Need five fish to earn some nook miles? Good luck with that. Luckily, Nintendo heard the cries of fans and saw the brutal videos on Twitter of Zipper T being burned at the stake. So they scaled back on the amount of eggs that spawn. I imagine they weren't anticipating that people were going to be playing 12 hours a day when they originally planned out this whole egg hunt. Given they were all homebound though for quite a while, it makes sense to finally make that adjustment. But now that some peace has been restored to our island and Animal Crossing New Horizons, there's still the underlying question that has plagued fans for years. Just who is Zipper T Bunny? Where did he come from and why is he so mysterious? So let's set the stage for some possibilities. Before the internet associated all golden bunny suits with serial killers from the FNAF series, there was a time, specifically in 2009 to be precise, that the first spring season rolled around for Animal Crossing City Folk. This was the game that our bunny friend originated from. He'd appear for one day out of the year and have a player hunt down eggs as usual. This one day event continued on throughout New Leaf as well, but it wasn't until New Horizons where it became almost a two week long event. Upon talking to Zipper in New Leaf, it was very apparent that this was someone in a costume. He makes offhanded remarks about how hot and sweaty the costume is while explaining the thrill of Bunny Day. Apparently, it's very difficult to breathe in the suit too. To top things off, Zipper's name is a clue too as he of course has a giant zipper on his back. Despite it obviously being a costume, he defends that it is not. Which I get. Honestly, it's like the concept of a kid sitting on a mall Santa's lap and asking if he's real while trying to pull on his fake beard. They gotta deny that immediately to keep the illusion alive. And when I ran to Zipper wandering around my shore at 3am, that's totally the feeling I got. I'll be honest and say I did not have the chance to play any other Animal Crossing games extensively other than the first one. I didn't have any of the handheld consoles growing up and City Folk dropped during a time in my life where I no longer had the free time I once had. So to be frank, I was a bit of a zipper novice. When I see a bunny strolling through the dead of night looking way too happy, I can only think of two things. I'm either about to die because he's a serial killer or I'm about to die because his name is Frank and a Dodo Airlines plane is going to crash into my house later. But neither of these things are what I encounter. In the dead of night, this bunny tries to explain the concept of how over the next couple days he'll be hiding stuff all over my island. You can tell that the passion is almost faked as there's an overarching sense of exhaustion around Zipper as he sighs when you get off camera. To be honest, it immediately reminds me of the Santa Claus that Kevin McAllister encounters in Home Alone. An exhausted, smoking Santa who is just getting off his shift from a job he doesn't really care for that flicked the cigarette away right as the kid came up. We're that kid. Zipper has gone through an almost supernatural effort to hide eggs in every part of our world, alongside sending Bunny Day boxes into the sky and polluting our sea with bunny bottles. At first, I thought the concept was neat, but then as I realized the spawn rate for eggs was insane, I, like many others, grabbed my axe and went to the woods looking for blood. But at that point, Zipper was already gone. I couldn't find him anywhere, and it seemed like he had only appeared on my island to instill his curse and then depart. But of course, not a whole lot about this makes sense. It's weird because given how Zipper reacts, it certainly feels like this is just a job for him. He fakes the enjoyment and is truly suffering, but he'll shoot down your accusations that he's wearing a costume, even though there's clearly a zipper on his back. Now, one might just assume that this is someone who is hired to do this, but that's where it's a bit strange. You could argue that Tom Nook is pulling the strings behind it all, but I'm not entirely sure. It would seem like such a strange investment given how the landscape has continually changed over the years in the Animal Crossing games, mainly referring to Tom Nook's focus in each game. I got a really late start to Animal Crossing New Horizons due to Resident Evil 3, and a lot of other games dropping around the same time. So by the time I encountered Zipper, my town was not very far along at all. I only had two villagers total. The entire island was wilderness, and yet this bunny was wandering around on no man's land hiding eggs. Which takes us back to the whole mystery behind Zipper. Over the years, plenty of fans have speculated that Zipper was various villagers simply in a costume. From characters like Tortimer the tortoise, to Hopkins the bunny, whereas Hopkins even shares the same birthday. But all these situations can sort of be disproven simply because the villagers can be found elsewhere while Zipper is still on the map. Zipper is an entity that can't really be pinpointed as an existing character, which is why he's a bit bizarre. When going around my island not long after this started, it was very apparent that other villagers were freaked out by the eggs he was placing. They were hush hush and didn't want to talk about it out loud. Eggs popping out of rocks and swimming around the water had people on edge, as these occurrences were not normal at all. 
Mind you, we're talking about a game where you can shake a tree and a large piece of furniture can fall out, but it seems even the in-game logic behind the eggs was strange to its residents. Things that shouldn't be happening were happening, and people can't explain it. Which leads me to believe Zipper isn't so much a who as a what. Based on everything, I want to say that Zipper is merely a spirit in a costume. Now before you take to the comment section, hear me out. We know for sure that ghosts exist in the Animal Crossing universe, and they don't necessarily have to be scary. Wisp is a character we encounter who is terrified of ghosts, despite being a spirit themselves. They can even possess people. Even in New Horizons, we can encounter them floating around the island and our appearance startles them. Wisp isn't the only ghost we can find though. Jack, the King of Halloween, is another ghostly figure we can encounter multiple times throughout the series. He looks just like all the other characters at Halloween, except he doesn't seek you out. It's easy to run past him and not realize who he truly is. Honestly, it was kind of creepy knowing he was purposely blending in with your neighbors. As the series progressed, it became even more apparent that Jack was truly a spirit, because he could vanish before your eyes. So the concept of a spirit hiding in a costume isn't foreign to the series at all. Which leads us back to Zipper T. Bunny. He claims that opening the suit would ruin the surprise, but it also makes me wonder if this is merely a way that the spirit of spring can move about without freaking people out. One could argue that a spirit shouldn't be able to comment on a suit being stuffy or that they are sweating inside. But the spirits of Animal Crossing tend to have really realistic traits. Wisp can be seen sweating profusely when talking to him, so it isn't too far of a stretch to say that Zipper can do the same as a spirit. That's why it's super important for the suit not to be opened, because it would truly ruin the surprise. But then again, this is just me spitballing ideas about a cursed bunny. I believe he's more so a spirit, just simply because of all the crazy, abnormal places eggs can be found. Everyone else finds it to be weird and questions it. It just makes sense to me given his weird powers. But of course, I'd love to hear your take on this strange character too. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching guys and gals, and until my next video, cheers.